Hey guys, it's Rick Brown with the Brown Home Group, another edition of Inside the Scoop with the Brown Home Group. Not really sure what's going on with my head, but it is what it is. <laughs> and uh, sitting next to me, well, six feet apart, <laughs> literally six feet apart, is another amazing agent on my team, Bryce Wilkerson. How you doing, Bryce? Very good. Awesome, fantastic. We are at another edition of Meet the Team Monday. And um, we're going to get to know a little bit more about Bryce. And probably I'm going to get to know a little bit more about Bryce. Since, uh, <laughs> some of the questions. And I'm going uh, to put my eyes on since I really don't, can't read. Um, so just really start out, Bryce. Um, tell us about you and like where you grew up, where you're from, things like that. All right. Uh, so I grew up here in Orlando, right there. Oh, wait, you're another Floridian? Yeah, well, I was born in Baltimore, but we moved down uh, after I was three months old. So I really had no idea what Baltimore was all about. I, I see you. Is my you're an Oriole fan? No, I'm actually a Pittsburgh fan. All my family's from Pittsburgh. So it's okay. always funny where the Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers are the biggest rivalry. Okay. And so it was always a joke. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yep, but I uh, grew up right here in uh, Orlando ever since then, and uh, I've been 30 years old now, so I've been here for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, so you pretty much consider this home. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, right. it's, it's funny watching the dirt roads turn into three-lane roads now. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then um, siblings, obviously you got mom, dad, siblings. What do you got? Yep, I got mom and dad, and I have a brother who's three years older than me. He has a uh, daughter who is one and a beautiful wife. And I also have a little sister who is now 15. Wow, it's crazy to think that. Uh, yeah, so you so are she's, Uncle uh, Bryce. Years apart. Sorry, what was that? So you're an Uncle Bryce. Yeah, I am an Uncle Bryce. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a, it's a pretty awesome moment becoming an uncle. Like, you don't, something you don't think about. And then when you become the uncle, it's like, wow, it's, it's a really cool thing. And if I remember rightly, you and I went to the same high school, obviously years apart. Yep, the Lake Howell High not, School. Lake Howe, right? Yep. Yep. So now I'm class of 08. What are you, Rick? <laughs> yeah, not 08. <laughs> I have an 8 in it, but not an O. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but we probably don't even have the same teachers. I imagine my teachers probably, you know, God love them. I don't even know. They're either retired or dead. <laughs> well, we, did you have Mr. Pritchard? Oh, uh, yes, I did. See, we've had, we had the same so he was teacher. So he was young when I was there. So, yeah, he's probably, well, i got to say, he's in the 60s now. Yeah, he's, he would be somewhere around there, that's for sure. No, he's yeah. one of the best teachers there. So, I mean, not to ch change subjects, but was Mrs. Smith still there? Yes, Miss Wyvon Smith, right? Yeah. She was like yeah, teacher she, of the year or something multiple times. Best English oh, teacher I ever had. The students love her. She's a, yeah. Remember. I never had the chance to get her, but my brother had her as a teacher. So I, I knew all about Miss Wyball and Smith. So wait, you have an older brother? Yeah, I just told you my older brother is the one with the daughter. I wonder if I, uh, would, I would I know him? He's not, no, no, he's not, not. that old. Okay. No, no, not that old. <laughs> I'm just old. All right. So um, any college, any um, after high school? So I attended, uh, I attended UCF for mechanical engineering. And oh, wow. after doing that for two years, almost three years, I knew it wasn't me. Gotcha. And so, I, yeah, I got out of there and I started uh, going to school, uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting, to get into radio. Nice. And that's actually, uh, I think that's coming up on your next question probably. But uh, after that, I got into radio and I went and I worked for iHeartMedia. And I had a pretty darn good fun time working for iHeartMedia. That was excellent. So we'll get to that. But um, what was your first job you ever held? First job I ever had, I worked for a man named Mike Masters, a good friend of my dad's, and I was a mason. I went and stacked bricks, cleaned bricks, uh, and we poured concrete all day in the rain and the, the sun, and that was my first job as a 16-year-old, and uh, it was tough. <laughs> so if we ever need somebody to help stack bricks, we know where to go. I'm not, you can't pay me enough anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... So then you, you got into the radio broadcasting with Heart Radio. Yeah, I uh, started at WJRR, which a lot of people might know is Orlando's yeah. rock station. And yeah, I helped right. out on uh, other channels like 104.1. And I helped on Magic 
Uh, I did a little bit of voice work. So, Tiongo uh, Butu Tres, it's the, uh, the Roomba. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I had a lot. Of, and then I moved over into Melbourne and became a promotions director. And I ran three stations out there. And, and that's where I went from there. But I got a little bit away from the production side, which is what I really like about radio. Okay, cool. And then um, just, just as a fun fact, what was your first car? Oh, this is a great fun fact. So my first car was a 1972 Chevy Chevelle. And it had a big block in it that we bored out to a 468. Wow. Yeah. And, gas uh, <laughs> it was. Oh, it was the biggest V8 you could probably find. It was like a seven liter V8. It was huge. And uh, actually, I think it was like eight something. But then um, we had the, when we bought it, it was a race car. And we were trying to turn it back into a, you know, a show car. And um, the, the exhaust, it was cut off halfway. So we would drive out the neighborhood and it would, you know, fire off everybody's car alarms. So it was a pretty uh, beastly car. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. But then, you know, you start going to college and you stop working on it. It was a sad thing to say goodbye to that car. Gotcha. And then the last job was the heart radio before you got into real estate? Yep, sure was. And uh, it was actually sitting there at the table in iHeart and I uh, started looking at doing real estate. And I had a good friend who uh, introduced that to me. Yeah. You know, so, what I tell uh, you? <laughs> so we'll talk about that. But um, do you have a favorite memory growing up? Yep. Like, something that you can think of? I can remember it like it was yesterday. It was in uh, 2000. Actually, I have two favorite memories. Uh, 2008, uh, I got uh, my dog, Luke. And I've been waiting to get a dog for a very long time. And it was Christmas 2008. With, uh, one of my Luke, big old Luke dog. He's a, he's a mutt as a mutt, but he's a huge dog, and he's just one of the best dogs. Like my dad's best friend now. My dad actually still have him. 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 So a cool dog. Hmm? Still have him. Oh yeah, yeah. He's at the. He's he stays with my dad. Cause my dad's got like ten acres, and he's a moose, so he needs the the room to run. Yeah. But then, uh, my second favorite, or probably my first favorite memory, is uh, when my little sister was born. Fifteen year old holding this little oh, baby oh, in my oh. hand. My whole life changed at that moment. Wasn't about me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now she's 15. She's riding horses. She's one of the coolest people I've ever met. 15. So is she at Lake Up? No, she's at Haggerty High School. Haggerty. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Cool. Yep. And she's part of the yearbook. So she's a she's a little smart cookie. <laughs> so you were saying that um, during Heart Radio, you started to look into getting into real estate. Mm -hmm. and, and then somebody brought you in. Is that somebody so is that, on our team? It is somebody on the team. So I was actually looking to buy a home, and that was the reason I was talking with David Hickey, uh, our superstar on the team, uh, one of my very good friends. I've known him. He actually went to Lake Howell, too. He's, uh, That's right. I've known him since um, for a very long time. And uh, we started talking about buying a home, and eventually it turned into – you know, like he says he loved it. He absolutely loves it. And it's the freedom, the amounts of, like you're growing your own business. Um, as much work as you put in, you're getting out. Yeah. And it sounded exactly like something I wanted to start doing. And yeah. now I'm here. Boom, here you are. It was all David's fault. <laughs> well, it's not his fault. It's a blessing. Oh, <laughs> it's I a can blessing. say that. Right. So is there something that you are, um, that you would believe you'd be willing to share with us today that no one would know about Bryce Wilkerson. So I used to brag about this, you know, back in 2001. Um, and I don't talk about it too much anymore, mostly because people don't believe me. Okay. But, uh, as a, We're all ears. I think I was 12, 11 or 12 years old, and I was the uh, Halo 1 champion of Florida. And then shortly after that, Halo 2. Do you know, you know what Halo is? Uh, shut up. I have okay. kids. <laughs> My son played Halo like nobody's business. So. Yeah, and I, so did I. And, uh, I, yeah, so I, won, I tried I playing it, but yeah, no. <laughs> so, so you competed on games? Like the game? Yeah. And I was playing, I was playing against like 20 year olds, 18 year olds, you know, like grown men playing as I'm like this little kid and I would walk home. You with get the paid? Uh, well, my dad got paid, yeah. <laughs> you, you won, right? I mean, if you won, yeah. you win a nice purse, like a nice uh, amount of money. It was Halo wasn't big at the time, so it wasn't oh. like a big chunk, but he always told me it was going to go towards the car, and that was the goal, to get that Chevelle, and that was yeah. uh, the first chunk. 
That's really cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then I went back then a year or two later and I won Halo 2 competition too. So you had to defend your title. Exactly. Yep. Gotcha. And you were beating like 20 year olds at 12. <laughs> it was funny. They didn't like I mean, it. Really, when you think about it, video games is not really about age, is it? Well, no. And it's, they always make the excuse that he doesn't have anything to do. He just goes home and plays video games all day, which is true. Too bad. <laughs> I'll kick your butt. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I know we talked about how you got into, into real estate. Obviously, David. Um, mm -hmm. What's been the best thing about being a realtor right now for you? And if you could go back, is there anything that you might do differently? So if I could go back, it would just be, you know, learn more. There's so much to learn about this. And you don't think about it in the beginning. You want to learn kind of like, you know, how to do the job. But yeah. then you don't, but there's so much extra to learn. It's like the amount of books that are out there, YouTube videos. Yeah. Like I wish I jumped on that a lot earlier because I'm using everything I've learned every single day in real estate. Yeah. And it's, it's, you're just, you know, you're, you're crap, you're being, it's Kung Fu, you know, you have to study it every day or else you're not going to be a master. And I wish I started studying every day, you know, a lot earlier. Yeah. But then the one thing I'm getting out of this that I, you know, you don't think about and I'm so appreciative is uh, our relationships. You know, like my, my first client, you know, Marge, like we have a great relationship with her now. I go, and I do puzzles at her house with her, oh, you know, nice. her. Her cat passed away recently and it broke, you know, broke everyone's heart. And, you know, just having that conversation. But then like Dario, you know, another a great person, a friend of ours. He, uh, he is actually uh, going to have a baby in October. And I got invited to the, uh, the baby shower and the uh, gender reveal. And, you know, it's, just, it's, it's crazy. You know, you're, you're in the business of working with somebody. You don't expect to be part of their family at the end of it. And yeah. you are after you, you help them buy a house, you know, it's, Absolutely. Yeah. That's the coolest and, feeling in the world. And I can say that I know that that's important to you. And I think, you know, in real estate, um, it's going to really um, differentiate you from other agents because, you know, I always say the cliche of agents are like roaches. We're everywhere. Right. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's the ones that really stand above are the ones that really take um, that relationship to the next level because yep. especially right now with what we're going through it's something so important to stay engaged and having those conversations and when and who doesn't want to buy homes or refer people that they don't like i mean right. if they like you you're going to have a lot better relationship um so what would you say is the best thing is is just building the relationships and oh, it's it's becoming it's this it's lifelong relationships like you know i my mom always tells me there's nobody else in the world like you bryce because you have your friends that you've had since you've been one years old and i do i have my best friends that i've had since i've been a little kid yeah. and now i can just tell them i'm gonna have these same friends for the you know for my lifetime yeah that's pretty cool yeah and um and as we say on our team we do go above and beyond and you take that to the next level, I have to say. So good for you. Um, if somebody's watching this right now and you're talking to them and they're thinking about getting into real estate, what would you tell them? I would tell them, I would be completely honest with them up front and say the amount of work you put into this, you're yep. going to get out. But the best part is you can put so much work into this that you're going to get so much out of it. Yep. And that's the best part about this. If I wake up and I want to spend all 24 hours of that day in real estate, it's going to benefit me. It's yeah. not like I'm wasting a single second. And so it's, it's you're mastering a craft. You get to build your own business. So you get to go in whatever direction you want. Yeah. Is, it's the freedom of a job you've never had before. Yeah. But then it's also, I get to wake up and take a vacation some days. Some days I can't. <laughs> and yeah. then I can also just work. And I love to work. So it's, it's so it's a very rewarding job if you love to work and build something. I mean, I know this is one of the questions, but if you, uh, when you were thinking about getting into real estate, was there anything that now that you've been in it that you didn't expect? Like, is there anything that you can think of? And I know I'm throwing you on the loop here, but it, you know, the I didn't expect how uh, the organization and how like. Um, how on top of everything you have to be something can change all of a sudden in a second and you need to be available to fix it 
And that's yeah. actually the part where I became so appreciative of you and Maria on the team. Because there are the days where I'm out showing a home or doing an open house and I have Maria there to, you know, answer the call, you know, shoot the email out right away. Yeah. And it's when you first start out, you don't expect to be, you, you, you know, you, you're confident. You think you can handle it all, balance everything. Yeah. Well, you know, you really can. Once you start working hard, you put that 24 hours in, you yeah. need the help. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know, we're, we're talking about you and we're talking about your background and, but I also want to take this opportunity, um, you know, to talk about Keller Williams and what Keller Williams has done for you. Um, and then also for those people out that are watching that are thinking about getting into real estate, um, we're going to put your information into this link. If you're interested in just talking about real estate, you can reach out to Bryce. You know, we have that profit share and that passive income that's really awesome. So it'll be great for you to have that opportunity if somebody wants to have a conversation. I mean, you're not as new as, as some people on my team, but you're definitely, you know, um, just crushing it right now. I mean, oh, I know that. I haven't, I haven't forgotten when I started, so I'm new absolutely. enough. <laughs> and, and um, you know, I, I always say to, to agents when they join that, you know, it's um, – it's probably better to start as a single agent and you didn't, but um, I think you embraced it um, better than I've seen with a lot of agents that you still appreciate. I think what's around you, you know, so far as you made the comment about Maria and I mm -hmm. appreciate that because she does work very hard for us on our team. Um, but just the whole camaraderie of the team. I mean, um, during this COVID-19, how has that affected you, your business, or how has that changed so far as how you do things? Um, and, and has it affected you, I should say? You know, it, it affected me. It definitely affected me. It's the whole having people that I was, you know, working relationship very closely that are now furloughed. You know, it's the scary word that was passed around a ton during right. while COVID is happening. Yeah. And it's uh, having, you know, it's, you're there, you're not there to, you know, just be real anymore. Now you're there to kind of be the friend and you got to take a step back with, you know, trying to help them purchase the homes or trying to just help them get back on their feet and, you know, stay positive. And, uh, you know, it's, that was, it was tough in the beginning, but then, you know, it's, I said it, I said it in the beginning, I'll repeat, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but if you put the 24 hours in, you know, nothing will change. And that's what, that's what we did on this team is we still buckled down. We didn't use this as an excuse to take time off or, you know, get lazy. No, this wasn't an excuse. This was a reason to step it up. And right. I mean, we did that on this team. And, you yeah. know, like, how and I, think, I think we actually, I mean, I think I speak for everybody who I've spoke to on the team and the fact that, you know, we are a family and yeah. it's helped. I think, you know, when I've had problems, you've had problems, anybody, we're, we're there for each other. And so I think that is one thing that, you know, and we've, we've spoke every day, you know, we meet yeah. every day, whether it's been virtual um, for the most part, but I think that's actually helped us grow closer and stronger as a team. You know, I mean, um, there's no filter when we're on. No. So Oops. it's really, you know, straightforward. Um, but we've all had, you know, issues with the COVID-19. And I know you're a, like a huge rock star when it comes to doing open houses. And you've struggled with that part because, and I'm the same way. You know, I, I pretty much built my business on open houses. And it's like, I'm, I'm with you. It's like, okay, so we had to come up with alternatives with the virtual. And even though the COVID-19 has taken some agents and they've stuck their head in the sand, you've actually, you know, rose above it and made other alternatives. And, you know, we're going to get back to those open houses and I know you're, you're going to crush it even more, but I have to say how proud and honored to have you on our team and what you've been able to accomplish in a short amount of time, because I see a lot of agents that join teams and then, um, I don't know, just kind of expect, things and you didn't you you know you pretty much took the bull by the horns and obviously the goal of being on a team is is continuing to show value um so obviously that's my goal as the team leader um 
But even the short amount of time, you've taken some serious leadership. I see you work with agents on the team. I know that um, every day we get stronger with our knowledge, you know, and that's where Keller Williams, I think, is very helpful in the classes oh, yeah. that they offer, um, the teaching. You know, we're, um, you know, looking at stuff like Bold Pivot that you've entered into and you're doing, and that is something that is only going to help you get stronger. So, you know, it, and like you said, you, we, I hung my hat on open houses. And so when you take away open houses, I had to learn a new technique, you know, and yeah. now once open houses are coming back, I'm, I've become a stronger agent. Yeah. Well, but I think, I don't know if it's the heart radio or whatever, but you know, it's a sphere of influence too, that you really bring and your personality. So you're a, like like it? Huh? You're a likable <laughs> person. So you got a great smile, you know, I mean, and I think in this business, it's, it is people, right? It's all about people. Um, the relationships, yep, and, and that's build that relationship, and I think uh, you're going to have a huge success in this business. So, on that note, Bryce, thanks so much for uh, being on the show. Um, we obviously on this team appreciate you and thank you, and uh, I know you're you're uh, shooting for rookie of the year, and you're on your way. So yeah, pretty good competition on this team. If, on this team and, and in the market center. Yep. And, uh, if you are interested in real estate, Bryce, why don't you let them know what your phone number is so that they can reach out to you? Yeah, give me a call. It's at 407-399-2499. Or, Bryce. <laughs> or if you want to talk about real estate, definitely reach out to Bryce. He can give you some insight on what that looks like. Or you can call our main office at 321-348-8720, and we'll get you in touch with Bryce Wilkins. Thanks, buddy. Good talking hey, to you. Hey, thank you so much. All right, man. Have a good day. So again, guys, this is Rick Brown with Brown Home Group. Inside the Scoop, as always, make it a great day.